reindeer herding is mainly practiced in Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia, Mongolia and China and involves nearly 100,000 people and about two and a half million reindeer. Most reindeer are herded by 30 different indigenous peoples in the Arctic and subarctic, including Sami, Nenets, Chukchi, Even, Evenki, Koryak, Dolgan, Hanti and many more. These herders and their reindeer have adapted to and thrive in some of the harshest climates and remotest places on earth. Reindeer herders should not, however, be viewed as simply an exotic showpiece. Reindeer herders are unique custodians of the environment surrounding them. Through their daily work, they have helped to conserve the biodiversity and environments in the Arctic for thousands of years and are active monitors of this environment. For reindeer to be healthy, the environment must also be healthy. Herders also provide an important source of food in local, national and increasingly in international markets. Today, reindeer herders face many challenges. Beneath the reindeer pastures lie valuable oil, gas and mineral resources. With commodity prices increasing and the introduction of new extractive technologies, summer and winter pastures for reindeer are ever closer to global energy markets. The Arctic is seeing a new mineral boom and herders are losing pastures for their reindeer at an unprecedented rate. Other challenges for herders include a poor economy, poaching, predation and climate change. Over time, herders have been able to navigate countless ecological, social and political shifts across their range thanks to the knowledge that they have developed over millennia. This knowledge is embedded in the culture, language and practices of herders and herding peoples. Reindeer herders' traditional knowledge can contribute to the conservation of biodiversity as it offers tried and tested ways of sustainably managing resources based on locally developed practices of resource use. Today, this knowledge is not only valid, but it is needed if herders, their communities and their reindeer are to adapt to these rapid changes in the Arctic and sub-Arctic. A key concern for herders today is the survival of traditional knowledge, which is under threat. Many herders feel that they are not able to put their full knowledge into practice. Traditional knowledge is often not acknowledged by scientific and political communities. On the other hand, when scientists and traditional knowledge holders can come together on an equal footing, great gains can be made in improving understanding of the environmental conditions on the land and how to adapt to rapidly changing conditions. Итак, можно сказать, что сегодня оленеводы очень, оленеводам очень сложно вписаться в существующие системы охраны окружающей среды, существующие системы управления земельными ресурсами, потому что очень часто эти системы направлены против оленеводов, то есть ограничивают их возможности. Наши знания сегодня не, не ценятся и не используются для управление земельными ресурсами и охраны биологического разнообразия. Но, однако, есть большой потенциал для таких территорий традиционного природопользования, где можно будет вести традиционную хозяйственную деятельность, оленеводство, и где оленеводы сами управляют и принимают решения на данной территории. Поэтому можно сказать, что само оленеводство сохранение самого оленеводства на этих территориях и будет той защитной мерой, которая позволит нам обеспечить сохранение биологического разнообразия от последствий нетрадиционных видов хозяйственной деятельности на этих территориях. Herders today are not simply standing by to see their livelihoods disappear, and they are networking with each other across borders and cultures as never before. In doing so, they are drawing inspiration and learning from each other on how to deal with these rapid changes. Every four years, the Association of World Reindeer Herders holds a congress to which all reindeer herding peoples are invited. The most recent was held in 2013 in a tiny Evenki herding community in northeast China. The congress addressed the loss of traditional knowledge, calling for a strengthening of reindeer herders' roles in nature protection, the conservation of biodiversity, and a reduction of pasture losses. It supported work towards the development of protected areas where herders could participate as active partners with traditional use and in administration. Herders at the Congress also recognized the potential of protected nature areas for safeguarding nature, biodiversity and grazing lands, 
as long as they were not in conflict with reindeer herders, land uses and herding areas. Other activities are also taking place to meet today's challenges. The Association of World Reindeer Herders leads two international projects in cooperation with partners, Eilin and Nomadic Herders. Eilin is an ongoing Arctic Council project which focuses on making the voices of young reindeer herders heard. Numerous workshops have been held in Sweden, Norway and Russia in reindeer herding areas, bringing youth together to discuss their shared challenges and future visions for their livelihood. The Nomadic Herders project is working to conserve biodiversity, reduce land degradation and enhance the resilience of herding communities in Mongolia and the Russian Far East. It is facilitating dialogue between herders and government, for example on the establishment and management of protected areas within reindeer herding lands. The project is supporting and strengthening local institutions, including the application of traditional knowledge, and also increasing the capacity of herders to engage in the decision-making processes concerning land use and natural resource management. Reindeer herders face multiple challenges wherever they live and work. The erosion of their traditional knowledge threatens the very existence of the livelihood in many places. The disappearance of reindeer herding would represent a huge loss in humankind's efforts to conserve our global biodiversity. However, herders have shown over time that they are able to adapt to major shifts in the past and today many are confident that they can cope with a changing future if their expertise is acknowledged and respected. In partnership with others, herders have demonstrated that they can find solutions and coexist fruitfully with other users of the land. We, reindeer herding youth, call for it to be heard in order to allow us to continue with our traditional livelihood of reindeer husbandry. Because industries should take our opinions into account in order to make agreements that both parts could accept. Because exploitation has made it more insecure for us to take over our traditional livelihood. We have to lock the arbo, arbo virlas mahtos. Pajtolo, esat juatki, arbo virlas mahtua hakka.